morning guys welcome back to the channel so the last time you left us i just managed to get this puppy started after that long haul of doing the timing chain in this episode we actually diagnose the limp mode problem i fix that and then i also manage to take it to the track for its first test drive i do do a weigh-in but unfortunately i lost a bunch of footage i'm sorry i don't have the actual weigh-in footage but this car came in at 1400 kilograms with me in it. So that was about 1327 without me in it. So that's a good baseline. At least we know where we are and where we're gonna go. So before I could head to the track, I had to first diagnose what was happening with the limp mode situation. So I had a friend who has a scanner for these cars or most cars and we plugged it in and it told us it was the crank angle sensor that needed to be replaced so in order to get to the crank angle sensor you need to take the intake manifold off because it is kind of above the uh, starter motor it's not accessible from the bottom of the car that little puppy there that's the crank angle sensor it needs to be replaced let's get it out After that it was time for the intake to go back in and we could start this puppy up and see if it's all good. So a big thank you to SWAT Corps Raceway for letting me use their facilities and record. They're a great uh, facility and I highly recommend using them. They have practice days on a, every Wednesday and then they have track days I think once a month on a Sunday. Go to their website, check them out. It's a great facility. Okay, so I'm suiting up to go out for the first session. I set the tire pressures to 2.5 all round because there's no camber in the car. It's kind of a baseline. There's some really fast cars here. So I hope we're not gonna get driven into, but let's see, we're just gonna have fun. Let's show you one hot lap on board.
good. Okay, so sit rep. Did the first session. Feels good. Feels really good. So, so I went out with the car. I'm just sitting inside with the windows closed to get away from the noise. But it's actually really good. It's it's a good fun little car. It handled really well. Obviously, there's a lot of body roll and whatever because of the standard suspension. But it wasn't moving around as much as I thought it would. Um, it, it basically took everything I gave to it. But the problem is the oil light came on. So after about two laps of of um, being flat out, the oil light came on, and um, I didn't know if it was oil surge or temperature. So I went back and just came back into the pits, let it cool down again, switched it back on. Um, so the oil light came on and didn't go off again. Which, which makes me think there's no knocking or anything so that actually makes me think it's more temperature related so it got to a temperature threshold and the ECU just said no switch on a warning light so um, there is fully synthetic oil in I just don't know if it's surge or temperature related so I started it there's no knocking or anything so um, I think we'll give it another go and see that does kind of raise a, con a question you know in a race situation when we start to really lean on this car what's it gonna do you know so an aftermarket oil cooler might be might be uh, something to look at this car does have like an oil to water oil cooler in installed but maybe it's not sufficient you know because we you are asking a lot of the chassis and the engine and everything so I'll take it out again just see what it how it handles again if the oil light comes on obviously I'll come in again I don't want to blow it up before its first mud race I also don't know if it's gonna go into limp mode or like a protection mode if gets too hot so let's see otherwise it was good it handled really well uh, it's, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be it's really predictable and the car responds well to input so um, yeah it's actually a lot of fun so yeah let's see round two soon okay so round two let's hope it goes well way back from Swag Corps and the news is not good I'm driving the car but there is a noise the noise sounds suspiciously like bearing so in other words either Conrad bearing or crank bearing so that's a problem one of the guys was saying it looked like it was smoking a bit as well what was the fundamental purpose of the bill 